you want to spy on townsfolk from a safe distance of 1,800 miles away? Yeah! Well, great news, because you're looking at the super scary Predator Sea Avenger. It's an Avenger? No, they just stole that name so stupid kids would like it. Oh, well... I like it. This giant drone is a CIA favorite. And you know what? They don't like taking these things off of publicly known runways anymore. Oh no, they prefer to take them off secret black ops runways so there's no paper trail of them being in the area. Problem is, all the people they want to spy on or blast from the sky all live way out of range from a CIA base. Dang it. That is, until now, this drone can fly 1,800 miles away, stay in the air for 18 hours, at an altitude of 50,000 feet, fly at speeds over 400 miles an hour. This means they can illegally fly over foreign countries and leave no paper trail if they were even in the neighborhood. It's only illegal if you get caught. Words to live by. And catch this drone you were not because it's kind of stealthy. Well, everything is these days, so, you know. This computerized flying manhunter has a wingspan of 66 feet, and its weapons of choice is the dreaded JDAM. Hey, watch your language. India wants to buy some of these Avengers so they can fly them over their neighbors in Pakistan in one shot. They look like good friends. Another high-tech advantage of this Avenger Predator is its ability to shoot lasers. Lasers? Yeah, it has some kind of laser blaster on it that they use to fry the electronics of incoming missiles or something. Wow, high-tech! Self-proclaimed experts claim that these Laser blasters are far higher tech than we first thought. Huh. The Chinese captured wreckage from a crash drone a few years ago and found the laser blasters had weird markings on them. Weird markings? Yeah. Analysis concluded that the laser blasters were manufactured in Cybertron. Like the Cybertron? The U.S., of course, is covering up the whole thing and denying any involvement with the Decepticons. And the Decepticons are also denying any involvement with the U.S. I'm not sure I trust either of them. Attempts to contact Optimus Prime have gone unanswered. Many say that he is totally burned out from doing way too many crappy Michael Bay movies. Yeah, that'll get you. The only one we've been able to contact is Bumblebee, and he hasn't been able to get his voice thing fixed for some reason. Really? Yeah, his radio voice thing is stuck on Judge Judy reruns. Man, that's gotta be brutal. The far-flying, fast-shooting, JDM-dropping, laser-blasting, Cybertron-funded, Pakistani-hated, Captain America name-stealing Avenger! Is it just a harmless CIA a drone that'll be used to spy and bomb on people in a faraway country for our freedom or something? Or is this just another clever disguise from the deceptive Decepticons that our only hope is that Bumblebee will fix his stupid voice box so he can relay our distress call to Prime? How old are you? You work regularly. What kind of work do you do? And how much do you earn you a year? Take any prescribed medication. Take any other kind so? of medication. Did you seek medical treatment? What is adult novelty? Do you have a television set? What kind of television set? Do you, do you go have? to school? What happened in April? Are you a licensed daycare provider? Have I been respectful to Anything you? Anything else? Do you listen at all? What kind of responsible behavior is that? Why don't you pay attention? Was I looking at you? What did I just say? You want to say something? Hello? You